What's up, guys? We're gonna roll beats today. I'm gonna be sure you guys how to make some pain melodies. If you guys haven't subbed already, I'll turn posting these on as you do so. Good to up it a lot. Let's hop right into it. So, first things first, we're just gonna need a scale. Now, you can use a major or a minor. Um, for this one, we could just use a minor just because it's more common. Uh, let's go with let's do a B minor. Okay, now we can always transpose later. So, let's just go ahead and get into it. And my BPM is like 160. You can kind of put it to wherever you want, it doesn't really matter. All right, so this is the piano that we're gonna be using. All right, so instead of giving you like a chord progression that works, I'm gonna show you how to actually build it from scratch um, and so that you can make your own custom kind of pain melody chord progressions and stuff. All right, so what we need to do first is look at these half steps. Now, usually people say that and then what people will do, they'll go and they'll just stick to these or whatever, but what that is going to do is make it sound dark, okay? And I'm gonna show you what I mean. So if you're like, oh, let's make a sad melody, let's just use these half steps, right? That sounds more dark, right? Than like sad, right? Or something like that. So you have to be careful um, with how you use these. Now, you can somewhat get a sad melody if you stick with the same group or pair, right? And that's what I'm getting at. You wanna use the same pair or stick there. You can go off, but if you go off, sometimes it will sound too melodic or too dark. Okay, so what I suggest doing, especially if you're just a beginner and you're not really sure how like all, all this works, you can stick, let's move this down. You can stick to this family, okay? And then just go one off. So this will be sticking to the family and then you can just go one off. So we can just use this note. All right, or you could do root. Right, and you can use this family. Right, and that even sounds a little bit more sad to me. Right, um, and then obviously you can use other notes if you want, if you want to experiment, but this is kind of the gist of it. So what we can do um, is actually use this and build some chords. So let's build our chord here. Um, some things we can do, we can pull this up an octave, pull this down an octave, just pull that down and pull this down an octave. Okay, simple as that. Um, if we want, you could take something like this. Let's pull that up. And then everything over here, okay? Um, you would kind of just pull it up one. So pull this up one and just delete that, pull that up one. Okay, and then this is the same, so we could just move this over. And then let's pull this up two octaves. So we're just pulling up this two octaves just so it's not the exact same. Right, so it's not the exact same. Okay. Okay, and one other thing with these melodies, you don't want the velocity too high because um, you kind of want it to be like very smooth. And you see that has too much energy. So I usually just keep them about halfway. Let's pull this over and we just delete that just so it's different. And then I'm gonna actually, let's pull that back. Give it like some groove. All right, and now we have a chord progression to work from. All right, so now we're gonna start on another instrument. Now, before we go ahead, I'm gonna just kind of explain this part real quick because I kind of skimmed over it. So with this one, you know, we had our base, our bases or our roots of our chords. Um, and then I just built a chord from there. So this B would be this bass chord, right? And then I just pulled things up, up and down an octave. So moving over here, we had this to start. So what I would do in my head, which I kind of skimmed over, is make a chord like this and then just pull these up an octave. Now, how did I get the E? If you look, the E is a part of this chord, right? If we move up, it's a part, it's a seventh chord, right? So that is how I got that. And then you just delete a note. 
okay so let's go over here and actually to speed things up we could take any of these notes to start uh, like a start and finish for our melody so we could just take this e and f sharp it doesn't really matter which one because um, it'll all be in harmony and then you just build into it right or down into it so for example do something like that and then let's do something like that let's move this up and then let's double this and move this over okay and I'm just, this is kind of like just randomly throwing notes in, right? We can always put reverb on it if it sounds better. Okay, one more time. Okay, I like that. We could do something with that later. So let's move on to the next instrument. All right, so now we have our guitar. Um, and you don't need to play everything throughout the entire melody. That's why I stopped this here because with these like pain melodies, um, not every time is the instruments like playing, you know, so we can go back here. And then what we can do since we started with that E and that F, uh, we can use this F kind of to offset it. So it's not starting where the piano is. We can, and let me zoom in. We can make a chord out of this. And then just pull these top two down an octave and you can kind of play around with like the notes. And then take this F, move it down, shift D. And then what we can do a little trick here. So this note lingers. You can hold alt and pull it back so that it lingers throughout. All right, and then probably just delete these. Let's add it like one of these A's up here. Move all that back. Let me see. And then we can add like some little grooves down here. Well, let's see, maybe that's two away. Okay, I like that. It's pretty smooth. And if you notice, a lot of these notes are kind of in the same area. Um, so that is it for the guitar. Let's move on to the next one. All right, so now we have like an ambient sound. This is custom. Just to add ambience to it. Um, so. That's pretty much what we're gonna be doing because I think this melody is pretty solid so far. So what we can do is just kind of steal from what we already made. So I'm gonna take that F and then we can just make a chord backwards and use these notes. And then I'm gonna just, I'll probably just wiggle back between these like this. Okay, I like that one a lot better. All right, so shrink these a bit and that is it for this one. All right, up next, we just have a custom texture and this is from a free texture pack, which I have not released yet, but um, this will be available, just not right now. Um, so I'll just play it. If it'll play all the way, let me see. All right, just something so we don't have to keep adding melodies and making it muddy, right? So we can just put this on B. And I'm going to just make this linger. Turn this up. All right, and I think that's a good value, man. I just pull this one down a whole octave just so it's slightly different. So lastly, for our melody, we have Arcade. And the reason for this is because like vocals are very common in these type of melodies and stuff. So we probably should at least add something. So I'm gonna put this to the B minor. 
and then you know I'm, I'm gonna just go ahead and fast forward and all right i'm gonna go ahead and fast forward and kind of come up with something that works with this so okay so i finished coming up with something now this is not the end all be all for this okay now what a lot of people do is they just leave it like this dry it makes it incredibly hard to rap on so what you need to do after this is do heavily processing on the vocals just to kind of dilute it into the melody so it's not so upfront. Um, so, but I'll play this bare bones. Right, and so the goal is to kind of make our own little sample and then we can manip manipulate it and chop it up add reverb and all types of effects to it. So um, what we're gonna do now is go ahead and start on the drums. All right, so now we're gonna start with our drums and we're gonna start with our 808. So we're gonna take our bass pattern. Okay, and then put it over here. And actually, I'm gonna put in our second pattern. Um, Just, I like to do that so it's a little bit more organized and easier for me to like navigate. Um, so over here, we can kind of just put these in places where the 808 would usually be and kind of offset some of these. Maybe offset this over here. And I'm gonna keep this one basic because with these, you don't want it doing too much the whole time. Now you can make a part where it's kind of doing a lot, but you kind of want it to be steady. I think that's steady enough. And then if we want to add a bunch of other stuff later, we can. So that is 808. We can go ahead and add or do our hi-hats. All right, so now we're just gonna go ahead and do the hi-hats and just kind of throw everything else in. Now with these type of beats and stuff, not all the time are the drums doing a lot. It just sounds like it because you have somebody singing or rapping on it. You have all these weird sounds going on. But if you really listen to the drum pattern, it's, it's usually just like a few sounds. Um, so I went ahead and added our perk or our rim just so it's easier for this. So I'm gonna just kind of fast forward through this part. All right, so these are the hi-hats and I just messed with some of the velocities a bit and just added a 1-6 roll. All right, and then we can just add these in. Okay, so I think that's good for the drum. So now what I'm gonna do is go through some processing um, just so we can kind of tidy everything up and just fix anything um, that sounds a little bit off. Okay, so now we're gonna go over the processing and I'm gonna only go over the important parts just so people can know what, what to put on their sounds if they have like a similar setup. So for your texture, what I like to do is add a little bit of reverb or delay. So I have super massive. Um, and then I take out a little bit of the bass. I didn't need to for this one too much. And then I boosted the areas that I liked. So I'll play it. And I really like these like bubbly effects. So I boosted that. Okay. Now for arcade. Now this one's a little tricky. Um, so one thing you can notice, I EQ'd a lot of the bass out and some of the highs. Okay. I always do that for vocals. So they don't kind of be, they're not in the way. Let's mute the delay and shimmer. So for shaper box, and this is something you can do to kind of make make it so that it's not annoying it in your face um, when you're playing it is I put this volume automation so that it kind of swoops in and out so that it's not playing 100% of the time. And then in combo with this, I have a filter so that you can't clearly hear the vocal. Um, and then I let a little bit of the highs through so it just doesn't stop right away. And I'll show you what that sounds like now. If it's on, here we go. You can see when it's down, I let a bit of the highs through, okay? And then we just add shimmer and delay. Okay, and this is what it sounds like. Right now, it sounds like an actual melody now, right? So turn all these on. So last thing with the sounds, we have our bus. I usually put my main instruments like a clap, a rim, hi-hat, 
and my snare in this bus. Um, now, this will usually be different. I would have like a transient processor, but I wanted to try Saber Box as a transient processor. So I put this volume um, automation and then I just click one of these. I forget which one it is, but I click one of these trim, this one right here, um, just to shorten the decay so the drums play faster. And I'll show you what I mean. Right, they kind of pop in real fast, right? So last thing on the master, I have frequency splitter. Now I really like this plugin because you could do a lot, but I usually just boost the highs a bit, just slightly, as you can see, it's like very slightly. And then over here in the low end, I kind of want to take a little bit out, okay? And this is kind of, you know, whatever you want to do with this, this is just what I thought sounded good. And then we have a soft clipper to kind of control these peaks. And then I put fresh air. Now I'll do a two to one uh, ratio. So on the mid, I do a 26. Or if, if I was doing 20, I would put the high to 10. Right. So I just did 26, 23. And this is what the full thing sounds like. All right, and that's going to be it for this video. Hopefully it was helpful. Make sure you guys like and subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.